Hey, Dan Meyer here, and I am back for part two of how to get more YouTube subscribers. Pretty exciting stuff, right? We all need more subscribers, but not just random subscribers, subscribers who consume our content, who are raving fans, and who are really engaged with what we do. And yesterday I dropped part one of this video and covered the first four things that you can do, the first four tips. I talked about how to clean up your YouTube channel, how to make sure you focus on videos where you really have a hook in the first 10 seconds, to turn your videos into trailers for your channel and your playlist, and talked about the importance of as much as possible keeping most of your videos to around five minutes. Um, that was the first thing. Today we're going to talk about five more things that you need to be able to do. And the first one we'll talk about is a binge-worthy playlist. Now you wanna build out your playlist like you're building out a season of episodes of a TV show on Netflix, right? So you wanna have an introduction to you and what you're doing, it's a story arc, right? You have the, bring in the main characters, bring in the main elements, bring in what's going on, and then have some kind of conflict, and then have some kind of solution, right? Act one, act two, act three. Your playlist should look like that. Think about it, how do you build a narrative arc for your videos, right? So for my videos, my playlists are about Okay, I wanna be a home-based business. I don't wanna to have to work in a physical location anymore. I wanna work from home. So the first thing is I need to identify the tools I need to use. How do I get started? What are the things I need around me every day to be successful? That's the first part of my playlist about working from home. The middle part is, okay, now that I've set up the environment, how do I start doing things to grow my business? How do I market? How do I hire people? How do I get my, my um, information out there to the customers? How do I scale my business operations? That's all the middle, that's all the challenge. You're going through this growth period, right? And the third part of the play that's is celebrations, is, is solutions, is like this is was success stories. This is how we were able to do this, and now we're doing this. This is how we're growing this. This is how this is working for us. This is how we're solving this problem, right? So you go through some kind of arc, like a TV series would go through a season. Turning your videos into a binge-worthy playlist is a great way to make your YouTube channel more useful, and nobody is doing it. Nobody's thinking like that. They record videos as they record them and they drop them. I'm guilty of that. I do a lot of my videos with things that kind of grab my attention, but if you look at my playlist, that's where it's separated, right? So I manage a playlist more like I'm trying to build a uh, TV show that people can consume and when they want to binge. So the next one is powerful CTAs, calls to action. Um, not just at the end screen, which every end visual, every video you ever create should have a slide, an image, a call to action, something at the end saying subscribe, if nothing else. Subscribe here, you know, click on the, on the bell, whatever. But you should fill your whole talk with, with CTAs, with calls to action, about having people like sign up for you by going to your website, or checking out um, something you've done on Facebook, or doing a text opt-in, or whatever. Because your, your calls to action should be peppered throughout your talk. They shouldn't all be sales oriented, and they shouldn't all be like, do this now and give me money. They should be more like, this is information you need, take action on it. This is something you should do in your business, take action on it. Now, there are so many different keywords that you can pick from that if you wanna have videos, like for me, like massively successful, um, even more success, being able to have a rock star YouTube channel. Use words that, that fit you and your niche and your audience, but there's no, there's no limit on what are the, those cool calls to action can be. Once you say that, then you have them take action. The most powerful call to action I've ever seen is Amazon's buy now with one click, right? Um, it, that way you don't put things in a shopping cart when you have to think about it. That way you don't have a bunch of things in a shopping cart and then you decide, do I want this or not want this? You just buy it right away. So when Amazon put that in there, that's why Amazon's the most powerful company in the world right now because they figured out how to get us to give us give up our money so easily. So what is your version of that? How do you drive people with one click to sign up or to buy or to join or whatever you're trying to get them to do? What is your powerful call to action? The next one is create human thumbnails. Using an image of smiling human contact. This is so key and so often overlooked. If you are selling you, if you are the centerpiece of your business, if you do coaching, if you're an author, if you're a speaker, if you're a trainer, if you're an expert, you should be on every thumbnail of every one of your videos. You should have a smile, you should look good, you should be professional, because people are going to click because they like you. They either wanna hang out with you, or they think you're cool, maybe they think you're cute, whatever it is, they're gonna click on that because of you. That's just how it works. 
There's no better way to sell a business like ours where you're trying to sell your IP, where you're trying to help people than selling it by yourself at your face. You are the face of the business, right? So make sure your thumbnails um, shine. Make sure they're colorful and they grab attention and they have a headline that's easy to read. Don't use a lot of small text. You can use small text in the subtitle or in other things, but make sure that big, bold fonts for the video's title what's gonna attract attention and a nice picture of you there. You got that and that's the best way to do thumbnails on YouTube. The next thing is you wanna think about YouTube advertising. At some point, you wanna advertise on YouTube to be able to attract more people on YouTube to you. But you really wanna think through where's your primary audience at. Most people I work with, most of the people that are going to watch this video are probably primarily interacting with clients on Facebook. So spending on Facebook ads may make more sense. But if you really want to blow out your channel and you want to grow your YouTube audience organically in YouTube, you have to think about advertising. Um, the internet's a crowded space and money talks, right? So you want to make sure that you know where to spend money, how to spend money, who to spend it on. So you want to look at the analytics. You don't want to just start using ads without understanding the demographics of your audience, the geography of your audience, when your audience is online, when they can consume your content. You want to think about all that. You want to make sure that you have your advertising synced up. The last thing I'll talk about is SEO, or search engine optimization within YouTube. In your channel, you want to make sure that you're using popular keywords that make sure people can find you, right? So keep it short, um, about 50 characters. So it's probably like maybe five to 10 keywords um, that you put in there. You can use apps, like there's one called VidIQ that I love, which uh, tells you which keywords to use based on your video content, based on your niche, based on the words you use in your video. What are the keywords? For me, I always use virtual assistant, virtual staffing, work from home. Those are keywords I always put into my videos because they're the ones that attract my clients. And so you want to think about that. So those are the nine things I covered four before and five today. Those are the nine things that you can do to increase um, your subscriber base by attracting new people to follow you. That's just one of the things we do at Sonic VA. So if you want help managing your YouTube channel, if you want help producing videos, um, making sure the videos follow all the standards I talked about, you wanna make sure you have good calls to action, you wanna make sure you use good keywords, you want someone to manage the channel so they can pay attention to the analytics, they can be the one to post it and to slice it up into trailers and to organize your playlists, we have a team that can do that for you. So we have a virtual assistant team that can be your video editors and producers. So we can produce your YouTube channel for you. If you're interested in learning more about how to do that, drop a comment below and say, hey, I wanna like, I want your help. I need your help, I'm curious. Tell me how to get started. Or go to our website, sonicva.com. That's S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com. And you will uh, find a place to email us. Just you know, send us a quick email saying, I want help with my YouTube channel. I need help to launch a YouTube channel. I wanna make sure that I can repackage and repurpose my old content and have it be more useful. We are here to help you. We let you focus on what you do best, which is talking into the camera, and let us do all the rest, which is producing awesome YouTube videos and making your channel a rock star channel. So that's my talk for today. Thank you for your time. Now go out there and get on YouTube and be a rock star.